Hello everyone, Jim here from Storm Warning News. Good morning. Hello night owls. Hello whatever time it is that you may be watching this. Sleeplessness continues, but I guess I'm getting enough to keep functioning right and I pray that you are as well. As we continue to be inundated with information, some of it good, interesting things, like the Twitter files, for example. Uh, everything else that we are watching, wars, rumors of wars, economic transition, collapsition, the culture, the society, this, uh, this shopping season right now. Um, so many distractions, uh, so many things for us to be looking at. So much information, and that's one of the uh, the wonders of the Internet, how you can just be deluged with information. And with that comes also misinformation. I pray that we stay focused through the storm. We have to stay focused through the storm. We're not seeing everything. We're being distracted. We're being tempted to look at this thing and look at this thing and look at this thing and look, 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 look. We have been on the verge of nuclear war how many times in the last couple of months? But the thing of it is, we potentially are on the verge of nuclear war. We are going through a economic transition. Our culture is being changed by the Weffers. But how seriously should we, we really take them? Who are these men and these women? Are they just media constructs with overinflated views of their own self-importance, with their grand schemes of a newer, greener, less populated world that they will thrive in? Certainly, they are acting on the commands of the devil. Certainly, they are. They have given themselves over to the darkness, as has much of the world. But is there something that they're missing as well? Certainly there is. Because when you dance with the devil, he's going to trip you up. We need to stay focused through the fog, through the storm. This is a storm warning. This is why I call this channel Storm Warning News. Storm warning, stay focused through the storm, the supernatural storm that we are fighting right now, which will spill more into the natural. It's creeping in now. It's creeping under your doors. It's seeping through your windows. It is under your rug. It is in your bathroom. It is in your computer. It is in your phone. It is in your 5G the storm is a vapor, and it is seeping, crawling like a centipede on your walls. It's in your refrigerator. It's in all of your smart appliances. It's everywhere. The storm. The storm is a demon. The storm is a cluster of demons. The storm is dangerous. But there is a beacon in the storm. There is a lighthouse. There is a lantern. There is a lantern, like the lantern that some of the wayfarers have used in my wayfarer stories. An old railroad lantern, maybe. Run by kerosene. How politically correct, incorrect is that? Casting light in the darkness. Maybe it is a torch on a wooden stick wooden pole, casting light in the darkness, allowing us to see through the storm. And who is that light? Whether he be the lantern or the torch, he is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Stay focused on him now. Ask him to show you the truth. Please. The storm is growing stronger. The fog is getting thicker. And we are headed toward cataclysmic change. But Jesus is coming. Cling to him. Be ready for him. He ultimately is in control. It appears that right now the devil is in control. Because this is the devil's world. This fallen world is the devil's world. 
This is his playground. This is his laboratory. This is his prison to lock so many souls in. But you don't have to be a prisoner. You don't have to be a lab rat. You can be a child of God through the Lord Jesus Christ. We are all wayfarers. And a little shameless self-promotion. While there is still time in this world to read, I ask you to check out my Wayfarer Stories fiction book series. Available on Amazon at Kindle and paperback. It'll be linked in the uh, description, or below the description area. You know what I mean. Please check it out. Kindles are only $1.99. It's, but check it out. It is fiction. Or is it? It's graphic. It's gritty. People of the world speak like the world. But anyway, and I'm working on the prequel to the Wayfarer stories called Dreams. I am just having a time writing that story. But stay focused, my friends. Stay focused in the storm. And the only way you can stay focused is by having that light, that lantern, that torch, that is Jesus Christ. Wear the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, carry the sword of the Spirit, my friends. May your feet be shod with the gospel of peace. This is Jim signing off until the next time. God bless you.